Here is how millimeter wave radar is made. You're driving a car for 10 hours straight and you're exhausted. How to make it easier? You smartly add a laser emitter, constantly emitting lasers, like a car's white cane, constantly exploring its surroundings. When the laser hits an obstacle, it reflects back and is received by a receiver. Then, by reflection time, calculate the obstacle's distance. For example, if a laser reflects back within one microsecond using light speed, 300,000 kilometers per second times one microsecond divided by two gives you about 150 meters to the obstacle. The error is within centimeters, letting you avoid obstacles early. Congratulations, you've designed a LiDAR self-driving system. Brands like Lie Auto and AITO use this with LiDAR as the core sensor. But LiDAR in bad weather, like heavy rain or snow, dense water droplets reflect lasers, causing interference, affecting accuracy. So you add cameras, letting the car see its surroundings. Then computer algorithms identify obstacles. For instance, at a red light, cameras detect the change and algorithms know to stop. Seeing a crosswalk, it will slow down to yield to pedestrians. Congratulations, you've designed a pure vision self-driving system. Tesla uses this, relying on FSD algorithms for assisted driving. But with strong direct light, the camera overexposes, like human eyes blinded by a bright flash. Recognition drops, still unable to drive accurately. So you cleverly add new equipment that can emit electromagnetic waves. These waves are unaffected by bad weather, darkness, or strong light. When emitted waves hit an obstacle, they reflect back. Then, based on the reflected wave's time difference, the obstacle's distance is calculated. This allows for early prediction. Congratulations, you've invented millimeter wave radar. LiDAR builds precise 3D environment models. Cameras identify traffic lights, lanes, and pedestrians and millimeter wave radar handles close-range obstacle detection in bad weather. They complement each other, 